Welcome to At Home with Music. I'm Leon Nogin. Now, normally you'll find me sitting behind my keyboard where I might be demonstrating things here and there. But today I would like to show you some finger exercises that you can do anywhere as long as you have a flat surface, a table or something like that. And you don't necessarily need a piano. Finger exercises are important for helping develop the coordination and the strength you need to play the piano with more ease and fluidity. How do you like that word, fluidity? But anyway, I want to show you some different exercises that you can do without a piano. So I'm going to switch positions here. I'm going to put the camera over here, and all you're going to be able to see are my hands. You don't need to see my face when I'm demonstrating things that you do with your hands. All right, you can see my hands here, and I'm going to show you these finger exercises that you can do just sitting at a table. The first one I'm going to show you is, and I'm just going to show you with my right hand right, right now. I'm just going to put my right hand there. And here's how this particular exercise works. You put your hand, palm down, on the table, flat. Now, this, this might seem a little weird because normally you think, well, when I'm playing the piano, my hand's going to be like this. Well, this exercise, you put your palm flat. And then what you're going to do is gently lift each finger, very gently. Don't strain. Don't overdo it. And then you hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then put it back down. And then we do the next finger. One, two, three, four, five. And this one. This one could get a little harder now. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally this one, one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I forgot the thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I may be counting a little too fast. Maybe I should have been saying one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Anyway, you get the idea. And then you lift all five fingers while still keeping that palm down. And be careful not to strain. You don't. You know, if your hand starts to do this, you're doing it too hard. Just very gently, you lift all, and you can feel the tension here in your arm as you're lifting all five fingers. So that's the first exercise. Now, now you put your hand in what would more commonly be the keyboard position. I'll put both hands up here. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to lift one finger at a time and tap it. One, two, and you can do this for however many times. Lift it as high as you can. Bring it back down. And then you can do it with the next finger. You can try doing it like 10 times or 15. I'm not really counting here, so it'll be up to you. You can see what I'm doing, though. Now, this finger, this one's always a little harder to move. And you're tapping it on the table. Now, if it starts to feel tense or if it starts to hurt, then slow down. You do not want to strain yourself here. Just like any type of exercise, we're not going for feel the burn. It's not that kind of thing. We want it to be a very natural movement. You're just helping develop some finger independence. Now you're going to do it with your little finger, also your thumb. And you can actually do this with both hands at the same time. I was just using my right hand there. Or you can do it one hand at a time. So now I'm, now I'm working on the left hand. Tapping each finger separately. Now, that could take you a while to figure out how to do that. But once you've mastered that, then we're going to make it a little harder. We're going to hold down a finger and then tap the other ones around it. So, for example, we hold down the thumb and we go through each finger. Two, three, four, five. This is finger number. Remember how we number the fingers? One, two, three, four, five. So this is one. We're going to hold down one and then two. I better do it with both hands here. Hold down one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And you're not just putting them down, you're tapping. Just like you would if you were doing this at a keyboard. Now, of course, if you're doing this in a crowded restaurant, people are going to think you're a little weird, but that's okay. But you can definitely do this while you're watching TV or just relaxing. 
Now, the next one is you hold down finger number two, and you start with the thumb, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. All the while holding down finger number two. Same thing here, finger number three. One, two, five. One, two, four, and five. You might find these fingers don't want to cooperate at first. Same thing here. You hold down this one. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. And you'll be able to feel it in that fourth finger, even though it's the one that's not moving. Whoops. I can't do this and talk at the same time. There we go. And then finally, you hold down this one. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three three, four. Now, once you've had a chance to figure out how to do that, we lift not just one finger, but two fingers. So you can do it with one and two. And um, I got to count right, four and five. You might find yourself wanting to lift other fingers in addition, but for an even greater challenge, we're going to do two and four, like that. One, two, three, four. Just tapping those fingers. Be careful not to let your arms and your fingers get too tense now. And if you can't do this right away, do not despair. You just work your way through and you'll get it. And then this one, <laughs> I even have to think about this. All right, three and five. There we are. How about that, huh? And then you can also do one and, uh, here we go, one and five. You see, this is not easy. These are the advanced finger exercises. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Now, I want to show you one other thing that I use. This is a finger exerciser. Perhaps you've seen these before. I bought this off of Amazon. There are several different kinds out there. This one is called, I don't know if you can see that. It's called Finger Magic. This one, you have the ability to loosen, you know, as you press it down. I've got it on the highest setting because, of course, that's, that's what I use. And you hold it this way, and you press down one finger at a time. Now, of course, you can, on this particular model, you can make it easier by kind of, you can see how this little little screw thing here or whatever comes down. And when it's down at the bottom like that, now that's the easiest setting. Now it becomes much easier. So you may want to start with something like this if it's adjustable. And uh, I would encourage you to find one that's adjustable like this. Use the lowest setting at first. And so you will do each finger. You'll probably be holding it this way because it's a lot easier. But you can see that you can do one finger at a time. Kind of hard to show you. One finger at a time. That pinky is always pretty tough with these things. And you can hold them all down. And this is more like an isometric exercise for your hands. Once again, I want to caution you, don't overdo it. Pain is not the thing that you want to feel when you're doing these type of exercises. You might feel a little bit of tension, but you don't want to, to you're not going for painfulness here. It should not be hurting. You don't want to overdo it. The final exercise you can do is you turn this thing this way, and you squeeze it like that, and now you're exercising your thumbs, and some of the muscles that go back through here. And once again, you'll feel it back here in your arms, in your forearms. The other thing that you should be doing, or that I would encourage you to do, is to stretch your fingers very gently. You could do it this way, where you're stretching them from side to side. Once again, just to the point where you feel a little bit of stretching in there. Not to the point, though, where it hurts. You can also stretch them this way. This is the way I like to do it is sometimes. Very gently, you put your palms down and you can pull the finger up. Stretch it very gently. 
just until you feel a little bit of tension, not, not, you know. Now, after that, you can just kind of shake your hands a little bit. You should start to feel pretty good and limber. This is another exercise you can do. This is where you make a fist and you stretch your hands out, make the fist again, stretch your fingers out again. This one, you may find it's going to be, you, you can only do it a few times and then you can really start to feel it. Once again, don't go to the point where it starts to hurt. We just want to get a little bit of exercise in there. So those are some exercises that you can do to help strengthen your fingers, strengthen the arm muscles that you're using to make those fingers work. And that will help your piano playing. Now, of course, nothing beats actually being at the keyboard, at the piano. But when there are those times when you can't get to the piano and you do want to do some work to help increase your finger strength, these are some of the exercises that you can use. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. That helps the channel a lot. It helps me continue. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick this up. There we go. I know this isn't very professional, but it gives me a chance to talk to you. So like the channel or like the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, this has just been a very casual video where I can show you these particular finger exercises. And I look forward to talking to you in the next one.